Shout out to Plus 3 TCG, and I'm here with Tyler. As you guys saw, he kind of shoved my shit in with this Abyss Actor deck, and I was curious to see uh, what the deck profile was like, and I saw a few of you were also curious, so take it away, Tyler. Thanks, Alex. So to begin off the deck, we're going to start off with three Abyss Actor extras. This is the most relevant card of the deck because it basically can begin any combo play into your extra deck and any combo play you need from your hand. The relevant effect here is that when he's in the scale, he can tribute himself out from the scale onto the field as long as you have no monsters, and then tribute himself to place another Abyss Actor monster in your scale. Next up, you're, we're going to play three. I play three of the uh, Funky Comedian. I play him for the uh, high scale of eight, which is nice, but his other effect allows you to basically tribute a monster and then gain attack to another monster while on the scale, and his other effect is to basically come on the field, gain attack, and then you can tribute a monster and it'll gain his attack. Next up is the most important card you play at three is um, Wall Hope. Wall Hope is basically everything to get out every one of your plays, everything to your from your extra deck, because his pendulum effect is that when he's in the pendulum zone, you can change any one Abyss Actor monster up to the level nine. His effect on the um, a scale nine. So his effect when he gets on the field is he can add 100 attack for each Abyss Actor monster on the field. When he gets destroyed, you can search out Abyss Actor monsters too. Um, Wait, is that like, even if he's in the scale? Yeah, he's even wow, in the scale. Wow, that's yeah. good. When he gets destroyed, he can even search out from the scale. Spicy. Next up is three of the Abyss Actor Rookie. This is basically your um, a good card to sit on for a little while. Because if he's tried to be destroyed, he doesn't get destroyed for at least one turn. So you can sit on him in defense position. He doesn't get destroyed by battle or by card effect, and then you can play off of that. If he's destroyed in the um, pendulum zone, he can search out the same as most of big doctors when they get destroyed. His um, effect is why in the pendulum zone, if another bit sector is targeted, he can be destroyed instead. Next up is three uh, leading lady. She's basically the uh, don't take much attack. So she can have the attack and then have a monster's attack, which is her best pendulum, is both her pendulum and her monster effect. So basically you can attack, the opponent attacks with a monster, you take the damage, but then, your mon then the opponent's monster loses that damage as a, loses their attack for that damage. Next up is going to be your three superstar. You have to play it hit her at three because she's too good. Um, her scale effect, I never use. So... I don't see most people using it. Most of the time you want this on your field because her field effect is when she's summoned, normal or specialed. You can't uh, target her for spell or trap cards and be destroyed by them. She can't be destroyed by spell or trap cards when she's summoned. And then um, when she's on the field, you can target any Abyss Actor uh, card, Abyss Script card in your uh, deck, set it, and then um, it will be destroyed at the end phase, but it allows all your Abyss plays. Now, I play only two of the Evo Hill. Before, I played three, but um, he got cloggy at times. His effect is only for his uh, monster effect. If he attacks a monster by battle and destroys it, I can set a, um Abyss script from my graveyard back to my ha field. Next up is uh, two Maxi. With the new ban list, this will be cut down to one, so I might go back another Evo Hill, or I might just go for a different trap card. But Maxi is... Just because there's not enough draw power yeah. in this deck. Maxi's Maxi. So. Next up, this is the most broken card in the whole deck. Uh, this script, Rise of the Abyss King. Why it's broken is because as long as you have, like, say, Evil Heal or Superstar on the field, your opponent can't stop this activation. So as long as you have a different named Abyss actor on the field, you can target that many uh, monsters on your opponent's side of the field and destroy them. Next up is your Dragon, your uh, Abyss script, Fire Dragon Slayer. It's um, um, It allows you, when you target a Abyss Actor monster, then when you destroy a monster by battle, your opponent has to banish out three cards from their extra deck. Now, all the Abyss Actor scripts actually have effects where if they get destroyed by a card effect, because sometimes people will target them and destroy them in the back row, they'll get destroyed effects, but that rarely happens in my hands, but it can happen from time to time. Next up is uh, Opening Ceremony. It's more of the effect for um, you get a new hand if it's destroyed in the back row and you get 500 life points for each um, different name to base their actor on the field. Next up, Tooler Darkness. Again, not much draw power, so banishing something would be nice. Um, Dark Hole, it's Pendulum, so just bring him back, use it that turn. I don't play Twin Twisters, but I play uh, Mystical Space Type <coughs> Since Twin Twisters will put them in the graveyard and you want as many of your Abyss Actors on the field as possible, 
is it's just a better car than yeah. Twin Twister. Saves them, saves them the co- saves yeah. the combo pieces. Yes, and then next is uh, Abyss Actor Backstage. So this basically lets you as long as you have an Abyss Actor card, Abyss Actor uh, Pendulum Zone, one card in your Pendulum Zone, you can add two Abyss Actors to your extra deck. So basically, you can get out your combo plays since you'll have your scale now. So then bring out say um, Superstar and Evil Heal by you having Wild Hope at least in your scale and one other uh, Abyss Actor. Next is uh, Storming Mirror Force. Mm, I think it's the uh, yeah. best Mirror Force of them all. There's uh, Quaking, you can choose that one too, where you flip them off. But I like to return everyone to their hand and then, then pretty much pinch them, scale everything out, and hit your opponent for free mm-hmm. charge. Next up, Vanny's Emptiness. Rip. It's uh, pretty much gone. I liked it in the original format because your opponent couldn't do anything, and once you had your scale up, everything ready, it was pretty much good. So. Sadly enough, it's gone, but I'd say even with some warning, I'd trade them out for maybe, um, I'd probably trade this out and one of the maxis and maybe put in two uh, D barriers to make it more um, playable to the meta. Yep, that works. On to the extra. The extra deck is all what you want to be, rank fours, rank anything, so I'll just play the uh, Castell. Everyone knows. Cowboy uses secondary effect. Master Key Beetle to protect your scales. Honor's Arc just to steal an opponent's special summon monster. Uh, Dark Rebellion because we like to have power over your opponents. Mm-hmm. I play the Spider Combo. of uh, I only use number 84 to go into 7 Sins. And then I normally take it off of... Um, Number 32, I've only ever used number 32 to hit maybe once. And that was 23. 23. Sorry, I can't <laughs> see that upside down. Yeah, no but worries. yeah, I only used it once against a Paleozoic game, but I didn't, couldn't even do a damage against it. Gear Grinder, again, is just another target. Never used its effect. I played two Big Eye because you might as well just have Big Eyes. Reckoning, you can only use it with Evil Heal. Um, then Red Eyes for a Male Dragon. I would also say you could go uh, number. Uh, Hope Harbinger, if you wanted to, or more rank fours, and that'd be about it. Nice. Is there anything else like you might want to change for the deck, or like inconsistency, inconsistency that you might find? I say um, put some draw power in your deck. The best actors don't have the best draw power, so I'd say maybe a third layer of darkness if you wanted that. Mm-hmm. Just be careful. Banishing out uh, your scales is pretty dangerous since there's only one really big high scale. And then unless you have Wild Hope, it's not going to be too good. Um, also say, just don't be careful on your plays, because sometimes you're not always wanting to go certain ways in the Abyss Actors. But it's a fun deck overall. If you're lo- wanting to learn Pendulums real quick before uh, Link Summoning, or even for Link Summoning, it's still a fun little deck. Nice. Well, I appreciate your time, Tyler. Uh, I did not appreciate the ass whooping you gave me with that deck, but it was still fun all in all. And I appreciate your time, and this is Alex from Plus3TCG signing out.